final road trip of the season continues tonight from Boston, Massachusetts, where last night the Rays opened up by losing to the Red Sox 8-7. In the process, the Rays fell to fifth place, last place in the AL East. The Red Sox come in 72-77, and 77, a half a game ahead of the Tampa Bay Rays. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Fenway Park. I'm Todd Cowles. We'll hear from Dwayne Stats and Brian Anderson in just a moment. For the Rays, disappointment last night, giving up a couple of two-run leads in the seventh and in the eighth innings. If the Rays were to win again tonight, they really have to stop the middle of that Boston lineup. And right in the middle at the number three spot is Xander Bogarts. Bogarts continues to hit well overall in the season, and especially against the Tampa Bay Rays. Last night, just missed a couple of home runs, doubled off the monster in left center field. In his penultimate at bat, and then hit a grand slam in his final at bat. As you can see in the 15 games this year against the Tampa Bay Rays, pitching staff hitting 356 with six extra base hits. Four of those nine RBIs came on this grand slam that gave Boston what ultimately would be their final margin. It was eight to six at that point. Richie Schaefer hit a home run in the ninth inning to make it 8-7, but that was a big blast to give the Red Sox a victory in the first of this four-game series. Tonight, though, Boston will go against Matt Moore, coming off the best performance of his 2015 season at the Major League level. Moore has had one outstanding outing here in Boston, also a couple of shaky ones of his three starts at Fenway. Last time out against the Baltimore Orioles at Tropicana Field, he was on for pitch number one. Seven innings of two-hit shutout baseball. Did not walk a batter. Struck out nine. It was vintage Matt Moore. He was at his best. Hoping to carry that over tonight in the building where he has his only complete game shutout of his career. It came in the 2013 season. Moore will be opposed by another left-hander tonight as Boston will send Henry Owens to the mound. We're ready for baseball in seven and a half minutes from Fenway Park. The Rays and the Red Sox. Game two of this four-game set. All four night games from Fenway. Cool temperatures in the low 60s back after this. Places. By Outback Steakhouse Curbside Takeaway. 
by Hattrick Tavern, the premier spot before, during, or after the game. And by Morgan Auto Group, make it Morgan, we make it happen. Rays and Red Sox on a Tuesday night from Fenway Park. A couple of lefties on the mound. Matt Moore going to the hill for the Rays. Henry Owens for the Boston Red Sox. We are ready for baseball. Enjoy all the action with Wayne Stats and Brian Anderson coming up next on Sun Sports. And last night, no exception, as Bogart's grand slam in the bottom of the eighth propelled Boston to an 8-7 win. Tonight, left-hander Matt Moore goes to the hill for the Rays, looking to build on his impressive performance last time out. We welcome you to Fenway Park in Boston for the second game of this four-game series. Rays opening their seven-game road trip last night with that 8-7 loss giving up three runs in the seventh four in the eighth so tonight it will be a couple of left-handers squaring off here is the starting lineup presented by your southern ford dealers brandon geyer is going to lead it off he'll be in left followed by mikey montuk and then the number three hitter evan longoria third foresight logan foresight is the cleanup man as Drupal Cabrera, Steven Souza Jr. follows, then James Loney. Richie Schaefer is the DH. Luke Maley will bat ninth, and he will do the catching. Well, they'll be going up against the tall, lanky left-hander here for the Boston Red Sox, Henry Owens, making his ninth start of the season, 3-2 and two record, 4.33 earned run average, and coming off a couple of strong outings against American League East foes. His last two starts against the Toronto Blue Jays and at the Baltimore Orioles, a grand total of 13 innings pitched and just one earned run given up in those two starts. Very impressive. And let's take a look at that Red Sox defense and see how it's going to line up behind him. Brought to you by BMW. In the outfield left to right, we have Bruce Ney Castillo, Jackie Bradley Jr., and Mookie Betts. And across that infield, third to first, Devin Marrero, Xander Bogarts, Josh Rutledge, and Travis Shaw with Blake Swihart behind the plate. Brandon Geyer has given the Rays some instant pop out of that leadoff spot here. Get the big home run for the Rays to open the 
rally in the ninth inning on Monday. Yesterday, hit the leadoff home run. Connected to give the Rays an early lead. They went on to score three in the first. So Geyer with a pinch hit home run Sunday against Baltimore in the ninth inning, and then the home run to lead off last night's game. Back in that leadoff spot tonight. Geyer hitting 269 with eight home runs now as he gets set to face the left-hander Owens. First pitch of this game presented by Pinchapenny, and that is ball one. <laughs> Owens just 23 years old out of Orange, California. High fly ball back into center field. Bradley drifting back onto the track for this one, and he makes the catch. So Geyer, the booming fly ball to center, but Bradley had room. Uh, he had designs on what he did last night, what he did on Sunday against Zach Britton, attacking early. And I'll tell you what, this Rays lineup going up against Henry Owens. Henry Owens, six feet, six inches tall, but he's not overpowering with the fastball. He relies on a lot of deception. He's got a pretty good changeup and a couple different variations of the breaking ball. Imperative that he works from out in front in the count. Mikey Mato getting a good look here in the closing weeks of the season, and he has responded, hitting 291. Strike takes the count to two balls and a strike. Well, a year ago in the minor leagues, most of it at the double A level, Owens was the Eastern League's pitcher of the year. Down to third. Marrero will handle that and a big reason why is that pitch right there is voted the best pitch the best changeup in the Eastern League Henry Owens a, a very good changeup to go along with that fastball that's going to sit in that 89 to 92 range Well two up two down against him and here's Evan Longoria we saw his overall ERA at, at 4-3-3. He's had two starts where he's given up seven earned runs and not gotten very deep into the game. So it's really skewed his numbers overall. He's thrown the ball much better than the 4-33 earned run average. Another ground ball tapped to third. Marrero makes this play. The Rays are up and down on a fly ball and two ground balls down to third. Bottom of the first coming, no score.